Hello everyone, a warm welcome to Oracle IAM or IDM Insight section today. My name is Edward Liu, Product Manager for Oracle Identity and Access Management. In this What's New section today, I will talk about three topics. First, Oracle's overall IDM product direction. After that, I will give you a quick overview of Oracle's recent release of IDM container images, and what does that mean for you? And lastly, we will take a quick look into our upcoming microservices. And with that, let's get started. What is the product direction of next generation Oracle Enterprise IDM? To build the next generation Enterprise IDM, we have six principle here, as you see on the screen. Number one, as you might know, we have a very comprehensive identity solution. And over the years, the architecture becomes complex and challenging to maintain. So today, we are modernizing our identity solution with microservices and service-oriented architecture. And not only that is simplify the architecture, allow our customer to move to cloud, but most important, we want to give our customer more control in terms of deployment option, performance, manageability, and simplification of their IDM lifecycle management. And second, prioritize user experience. Prioritize and enhance user experience with cutting-edge UI technology and REST API. So we have already made significant improvement in 12C by adopting Oracle's latest Jet UI technologies. And we will continue to invest in UX and to make sure that the next generation Oracle Enterprise IDM has a modernized user experience with enhanced capabilities and performance. And number three, as we are moving to cloud native and hybrid deployments, not only that we allow customer to automate DevOps, but Dev security op, so that security is integrated everywhere from the beginning of the development life cycle all the way to the end of application runtime. Number four, AI ML is not a trend, but a reality today. Throughout the enterprise IDM product portfolio, we are embedding AI ML capability into our upcoming microservices and to provide to our customer with intelligent insight and real-time data analytics. Uh, some example use case such as row mining pattern recognition and also adaptive risk management based on AI ML real-time risk analytics. Across Oracle IDM uh, product portfolio, uh, we are adopting open standards such as OAuth, SAML, OpenID Connect, and FIDO. So our customer can easily integrate with multiple vendors and technologies. Just to give you some good news here, uh, we have already officially certified it with OpenID Connect in 2020, and FIDO 2.0 will be supported in our upcoming Advanced Authentication and Radius Agent Microservices. Last but not least, simplifying ownership and management. Our goal here is to help customers to reduce total cost of ownership of their IDM infrastructure. We have made heavy investment in 12C by simplifying upgrade and operation. Examples such as adopting stateless mid-tier and moving 
configuration data and artifacts to database. So this has further simplified our architecture and paved the path for our microservices architecture transformation. Now let's talk about our container release. In early 2020, we released Oracle IDM container images in OCR Marketplace. The OCR Marketplace image make it easy for our customer to quickly spin up an enterprise IDM system for evaluations in OCR Marketplace. In November 2020, we released officially our GA version of Oracle IDM 12CPS4 container images, and that including all three components from IDM. OIG, or Oracle Identity Governance, OAM, Oracle Access Management, and OUD, Oracle Unified Directory. With this important release, customers now have complete flexibility to choose their deployment options, from bare metal to virtual machine, or using container images that best whatever that best meet the multi-cloud and modern data center uh, infrastructure requirements. Oracle IDM container image allow customers to move their complex workloads to any public or private cloud vendor infrastructures. And that significantly reduce the operational cost and modernize the security infrastructure and enable customer to continue their depth security op journeys with complete flexibility and maximize velocity and speed. So what does that mean for you? If you are running 11G or 12C PS3 enterprise IDM components, you can upgrade and run the latest 12C PS4 container images, whether on-prem, in multi-cloud infrastructure, or in hybrid model. For that new components, whether OAM, OIG, or OUD, you can run with 12C PS4 container and integrate with existing 11G or 12C components running in a mix and match model. And finally, as we are releasing new microservices in future 12C bundle packs, Oracle's IDM solutions will be replatformed and re-implemented with the latest container and cloud-native technologies. This is a conceptual picture to show you how we are moving from legacy to microservices architecture. Like many on-prem enterprise solutions, Oracle Enterprise IDM has been built for all size enterprise organizations, and that including some of the most complex identity security requirements from the complex uh, enterprise organizations. And it does comes with a cost that is make it more challenging to maintain and not easily portable. And our current transformation is to moving from legacy architecture into microservices architecture. And there are three implications here. Number one is to simplify. And number two is to modernize the architecture. And number three is to give our customer full control on architecture and deployment options. As you see at the bottom of the screen here, while we are transforming the architecture, we are releasing a full set of microservices. Oracle Identity, Road Intelligence, Radius Agents, and Risk Management are some of our latest microservices to be released this year. And following that, we have in our roadmap SOD, workflow, certification, and access requests moving into microservices architecture as well. So stay tuned for the upcoming. Let's take a closer look at the upcoming microservices. The recent move to remote work as the result of 
the global pandemic has a dramatic impact on the overall IT infrastructure today. Many of our customers express their concern or interest to increase the level of security for Oracle Database and VPN access. In response to those increasing security concern and demand, in later of 2021, we are planning to deliver a Redis agent microservice to enable MFA for Oracle Database and VPN access. The Radius Agents microservice will allow our customer to add MFA to their existing Oracle Database access and VPN access. With the primary authentications handled by LDAP and the second factor authentications will be handled by Oracle Advanced Authentications, which is another microservice that we are planning to release this year together with Radius agents. MFA is a critical building block for Radius agents, for database and VPN access, and user will be able to choose multiple options for second factor authentications. And that include the upcoming FIDO 2.0 support. User can, can now choose FIDO 2.0 security key, time-based one-time password, or TOTP with Oracle Mobile Authenticator, SMS, or traditional challenge questions that comes with email. Although MFA should be required for accessing sensitive data and applications, but typically a context-based approach uh, for MFA is more practical and user-friendly. So based on that, we are releasing a adaptive risk management microservice uh, later this year in 2021. Contextual data enable the use of adaptive authentic authentications, and that will take into account of attributes such as how sensitive is the data, how critical is the application, and any risk factor associated with the user section, such as unusual locations or different time zone. Planning to be released later this year, our adaptive risk management microservice will play a key role in identifying the login risk and propose multiple level of authentication method based on real-time user section and behavior data. And working together with Radius Agent and Advanced Authentications Microservices, the Risk Management Microservice will effectively help to protect our customers' sensitive data and resource, at the meantime, allowing end users to easily and securely access application from any device, at any time, and from anywhere. Let's move on to the last microservice that I want to cover today. Today, with increasing number of cloud and on-prem applications, a enterprise company's identity solutions typically accumulate many complex user and application entitlement data. Organizations are required to optimize access control in a timely manner, and both from a efficiency and compliance and regulation perspective. And to that end, we are planning to release a AI ML empowered Oracle Identity Role Intelligence microservice in later of 2021. With Role Intelligence microservice, Role Engineer can now conduct what if analysis with user entitlement data injected from existing OIG or third-party uh, governance systems. Oracle Role Intelligent Microservice will then mine the data and intelligently propose candidate roles based on organization structure, user attribute, and business activities. 
our role mining microservice elegantly provides a way to solve one of the industry's most complex data mining problem today. And with advanced data mining uh, module and AI ML technology that comes with oracles. And this not only automates and optimizes an enterprise organization's role-based access control, but more importantly, the role intelligent microservice will help organizations to achieve their governance and compliance um, regulation and requirements with less time, less resource, and significantly less financial investment. And that concludes our first edition of 2021 What's New section for Oracle's Enterprise IDM. We will continue to bring you more good news in the coming months. And we can't wait to see you adopting our latest technology and new feature for Oracle Identity and Access Management. Thank you so much again for watching.